Hello, in this video, I will show you how to make an imitation of a photograph taken with an infrared filter. Let's go to Google and see how infrared photos look like. The general meaning is as follows. In the infrared spectrum, the sky is dark and the greens are bright. The easiest way is to make an image black and white, but I want to keep the color. As a reference, I'll take this picture. As a rule, nature becomes the common object of infrared photography. But I have a person in the frame. People do not look very good in infrared images. Google has a perfect example of it. I don't really like the morbidly pale skin, so I'll try to leave the girl as it is. Let's start. Firstly, I'm going to separate all the colors into blue and red. Greens will be colored to red, the sky will be blue. Let's compare with the reference. I reduce the saturation of red and make it brighter. I will also correct the shade of the sky. It will be more convenient to make the sky darker using CL grids. I go to CL tab, rotate the grid so that the bottom one passes through the blue color. Now I'm going to make the sky darker and less saturated. Compare with the reference. I'm going to make it even darker. The main thing is that the artifacts should not appear. On the top grid, I will adjust greens, which have now become red. I will make them brighter and less saturated. Now it remains to return the human look to the girl. I will do this with a mask. I switch to Mask tab. I will work with a 3D HSL mask. There is a separate video about these masks on the channel. I will leave a link to it in the video description. I invert the mask and select the tool for dragging four points. Now I'm going to move the cursor over the girl while holding left mouse button. This is the easiest way to add all the colors that should not change during my edit. This is how my colors appear in 3D view. I will turn on the mask preview to make it more convenient to add those areas that should not be modified. I turn off the preview and smooth the mask. I will reduce the saturation in the highlights, and in the shadows, to which the sky belongs, the saturation will be increased. It turns out that the sky has a higher saturation than the foliage. That is, I receive a separation of the image areas according to saturation. This means that I can darken the sky if using the luminance saturation curve to darken highly saturated colors. Here is before, here is after. Something came out of the sky here. I'll fix it on the CL grids. Let's see before, after. Compare my result with the reference. I'm going to make greens even brighter on AB grid. I will select a group of points and move up using mouse while holding the shift key. I will do the same for low saturated colors. Image became better, but I do not like a strong contrast on the foliage. Compare it with the reference. How can this be fixed? I go to Curves tab. I'll select CMYK Curves and raise the black point of the black channel curve. I can even brighten the shadows. I like the foliage now, but the sky has become brighter also. I'm going to fix it on the CL grids. I disable comparison mode by pressing the C key to see the photo better.
In the sky, something appears again, which should not be there. Let's fix it. Now, everything looks fine. It is unlikely that this preset will be universal, but it looks good on this particular photo. In any case, the principle I hope is clear. Once again, here's before, here's after. That's all for today. See you in the new video.